Hey guys, welcome back to Nightmare Medico. So today we are going to discuss about a very important question. What are the structures superficial to the flexor retiniculum? So this is a very important question from a viva point of view and also it sometimes comes as a theory question. So I believe that after watching this video, you won't have any problem in remembering this superficial structures of the flexor retiniculum. So let's start. I'm going to describe about all the superficial structures one by one. There are basically five superficial structures. So the first one is the palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve. See, this is a cutaneous branch. Cutaneous branch means it is going to pass almost at the skin level. So it is a very, very superficial structure, right? Whereas the flexure retiniculum is a part of deep fascia. So it is obvious that the cutaneous branch is going to pass over the flexure retiniculum. Similarly, the second structure, the palmar cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve. It is also a cutaneous branch. It is also going to be almost at the skin level. So it is also a very superficial structure. So it should also pass over the flexure retiniculum, right? So the first one was the palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve then we have the cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve then the third structure which is passing superficial to the flexure retiniculum is the tendon of palmaris longus see this one is the palmaris longus muscle which is a muscle of forearm and uh, you see this one is the tendon of palmaris longus and if we follow this tendon we see that it is directly attached to the palmar aponeurosis and we know that the palmar aponeurosis is located quite at the upper it means it is located quite superior to the flexor retiniculum right so since the palmar aponeurosis is a structure superficial to the flexor retiniculum so it is obvious that this tendons which are directly attached to palmar aponeurosis this tendons should also be the structures which are passing over the flexure retiniculum so this is the third structure then have you ever seen boys showing their veins right their veins of the forearm and i think girls like that right so these veins why uh, whenever you might you must have noticed that boys always show their ulnar side have you ever no, uh, wondered why because it is very easy to grow the ulnar veins why so because the ulnar components like the ulnar vein ulnar artery and the ulnar nerve these are more superficial this ulnar components are more superficial as compared to the radial component right so since this ulnar components are superficial structures so therefore these are also going to pass over the flexure retiniculum so the fourth structure is the ulnar vessel and the fifth structure is the ulnar nerve since they are quite superficial so they are going to pass over the flexure retiniculum the ulnar vessels includes the ulnar veins as well as the ulnar artery and the fifth structure is ulnar nerve uh, i hope this video was quite useful to you and you don't have uh, any problem in uh, learning these structures uh, let me quickly revise first one was the cutaneous branch of median nerve then cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve the third one was the tendon of palmaris longus which is directly attached to the aponeurosis and then we have the ulnar vessels and ulnar nerves thank you and have a nice day